Hello guys, in this video I will guide you to assemble and set up new DOS F4 flight controller with DOS F20A 4-in-1 ESC. This FC in ESC are stackable together. Either to use with this F20A, you also can use with another brand non-stackable ESC. Before you start, I recommend you to download, study and read manual diagram of these two components. FC, ESC, spec diagram and info link all under the description below of this video. So let's go through the assembly steps. Okay, let's go start with the EC first. Unpack EC packaging and all its hardware. Big longer stainless screw insert from bottom of the quad that normally used to mount the flight controller. On the top, use hollow head nylon nut to use with nylon screw. With your bare hand, tighten all four nylon nut. This nylon nut screw can easily strip off the trap if you tight too much. Now you have 4 nylon stand off for mounting the ESC. On the stand off, place the ESC. Arrow marking on the ESC must point facing CCD camera or facing to the front. This ESC section should be used for Moto 4, Moto 2, Moto 1 and Moto 3. After placing the ESC, unpack your motor packaging. In this build, I'm using the OS Fire 2006 KV Moto. Before mount the motor, make sure to you choose the correct length of the screw. In correct length or longer screw, we touch the copper coil inside the motor. Normally, cause the motor short and burn. Position the motor to arm snug in all four screw. Titan use head driver. I normally use thread lock to secure the screw for loosening itself during the flight. Make sure wire length from the motor to the EC and mark the cutting point. Using wire cutter, cut the excessive wire. Strip off a bit wire insulator approx 3mm. Dip all three wire into solder paste. Reason by doing this, it will help soldering thin, melting, absorb covering over the wire. Heat the wire using solder tip and add thin on it until you can see it melting uniformly cover the wire. Clean your solder tip. Place your solder tip almost directly to the solder pad. Let the pad heat for a few seconds and add a tin on the solder tip until it's melting flowing to the ESC pad. If you are new in this hobby, I recommend you to spend on a good soldering gun. Cheap soldering gun normally cause bad connection also making soldering work more difficult to work with. Using a tweezer, clamp the wire and position on top to the thin solder pad. Gently press the wire allowing heat through that and on the to the solder pad. Hold just long enough so that you can see all the solder melt. This shiny bling bling over the AC is coated material to protect from water. Also small metal particle from touch all component on the AC. Settle one motor, now three motor more to go. complete set up the motor and the EAC. Next step is set up your flight controller. This F4 flight controller is integrated USD on it which means all FPV wiring, CCD and VTF must go through to the FC. Later you can change the USD layout via beta flight configurator. Now let's see the flight controller wiring layout. Printed out FC wiring layout so that I can refer later component pin in out. Ensure FC direction must facing forward. This section is for radio receiver module, S-Bus port and URT port. This section is for FPV video in and out and power supply to CCD also with the add. And this section, EAC power and signal pad if you're using with not stackable EAC. In my case, I'm using this pin out to send signal and V back from F20A EAC. Related component that need to join with the FC Maputaba RX, Amoyway Video Transmitter, and 
CCD. Take out all nylon stand off and rubber damper from EAC packaging. Insert the damper into the FC mounting hole. And then, mount nylon stand off on top of the EAC. Align your FC pin out to EAC socket. Gently press the FC into the EAC and looks clean right? Now, prepare the wiring for all component radio receiver module with the add and CCD. I prefer all the wiring sitting under the FC looks more clean so I inserting the wire from bottom FC and sold it on the top. Solder ground wire for radio receiver module. 5 volt out to radio receiver module and solder S bar signal from receiver module. Same goes to 5 volt out for CCD, ground CCD and video signal from CCD. Ground for VTA and video out to VTA only two wires. Your buzzer, receiver module, CCD and VTA all component already connected to the EAC. My VTA require 12 volt connection. I will use 12 volt supply from the EAC. Now take out 12 volt 5 volt connector from EAC packaging and plug it into EAC socket. Soldering join the connector to VTS. As you can see, only two wire from the connector because I took 5 volt wire out from the socket header. Hitch ring the joint protect secure the connection. Plug in again the VTX connector to EAC. This is 12 volt connection supply power to VTX. At this stage, ready to power up the entire components. You may checking all radio receiver module, CCD, VTX, and flight controller all work in order. Now is setting up your radio with the flight controller. Turn your radio on. Enter the menu. Select new model or create new model. Also plug in your USB cable to the flight controller. Now open Betaflight Configurator. Select COM port and press connect. Make sure your PC already installed COM port driver to PC communicate with the FC. From where installed in this FC, most setting already set to default, such as serial R8 COM port UART 1, Dishot 600 EC protocol, serial connection, and serial S bus has set as default. Only need minor setting. Also, you can change the setting later. Now, set up your endpoint and midpoint of the radar. Refer as follow.
Moto 2 counter clockwise, Moto 4 clockwise, Moto 3 counter clockwise, Moto 1 clockwise. This is correct motor spinning direction. Oh yeah, the setup now is complete. I think this is the most cleanest quad I ever built with stackable ESC and FC. I see less wiring mess all around. Perhaps can save few weight too. Securing the FC, CCD is on, BTA is on, top plate is on, props on. Now the quad is ready to take its first flight. Let's go my day at outside if weather permitted. Finally, this squad has uh, successful his mining flight from hovering, doing clipping and FPV. In this video, I'm not doing ESC calibration because FC and ESC run this short 600 digital signal which is no calibration required. After this, I'm going to do some more PID tuning, OSD adjustment and few more other changes. By the way, thank you for watching and happy flying! Whoa!